Greetings and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. So in this episode I will mostly be talking about these sorts of optimizations that you can do while designing a gear system similar to this one. Uh, this is the clock that I showed in the last episode. Now also in the meantime I did find the solution to the problem. So the issue was that somewhere in here something hanged and I found out that the issue was that this gear simply needed to be placed two blocks this way and that would have solved it so uh, I simply made a small mistake there but it did have major consequences anyway back to the optimizations so the optimization is mostly about trying to save space so as you can see here this is the crucial part of the clock because all of this stuff needs to be aligned around this one axis where both the dials will need to revolve around so you don't really need to worry about this at the moment because I can place this in whatever sort of position that I want to and for the clock tower it will be going vertical for the most part so the biggest problem with this is that it is not centralized around the axis so you can see this go in a, in a semicircle in a C shape and that means that this whole minute dial needs to revolve around it and this thing is absolutely huge it's around I don't know about 25 blocks in the radius that means it's about 50 blocks in total and that means you need a very big room a very big open space to put this thing in and when building something with structural integrity that may cause some problems so I went ahead and tried to do some optimizations so I used the same gears as here uh, well, you should ignore this. This isn't really part of this design, but uh, this was some sort of test to try and make a gear inside the gear and actually see if this works. So, let's go over to the first optimization. So this uses the exact same gears as you can see there, but I reorganized them all. Now, as you can see, this is the main axis going from this catch block to this one, and these need to be perfectly aligned. Now one way I went ahead and well one way I tried to optimize this is to work like this so you can see these two gears they go well yeah in this way I don't know how to describe it but uh, this allowed me to try and even out the amount of gears on each side of this axis and it worked pretty pretty well as you can see so let's try and measure this so let's take a piece of timber of about 10 long and let's measure from the catch block. So this is 10, 11, 12, Ooh, that's about 13. And this is the furthest point from it. So uh, this is uh, much shorter. So this is was 13. That means that the dial would have to be about uh, maybe 15 just to be safe. But you could do some uh, simple things to make this even shorter. So you could get rid of this whole piece of timber here where these catch blocks are resting on and you could remove these pieces of timber as well and then you just move all the catch blocks to this side and then you kind of saved yourself two more blocks so even in this design you can do uh, certain things. Now as for further optimization I was thinking well maybe I could use other gears and I went ahead and did some research on other gear systems, uh, in particular the, uh, the 4 to 8 gears. So then I arrived at this one. As you can see it is uh, much smaller. <laughs> and these are the new gears. Let's see if I have a proper one. Well, yes, I guess these ones. So this is the 8 and this is the 4. It is much smaller. And yes much more compact but the whole design is still the same as this one so you can still easily see these two big gears here and I copied it, everything over from there and even uh, just doing that it made everything a lot smaller so let's measure this now oh that's so this is about 10 let's put it on and as you can see this is the furthest point and this is only about 10 in 10 wide so that means that the tile would have to be about 12 to be safe so that already 
saved us even more blocks, which is good. And yeah, after this, I was thinking, what more could I do to optimize? But at this point, it was actually getting somewhat difficult because on many occasions, this would be the end point because any further optimization of this kind of depends on the certain gears that you have because sometimes it would work, sometimes it won't. Luckily, in my case, it did work. So one thing you might notice here is that these two eight gears here are exactly the same. So it wouldn't be far fetched to think uh, to try and replace this gear and just simply only use this one and move this 12 gear right on top of this one. So that would eliminate this gear. Now, one thing that would happen by doing this is that this one would, uh, would turn in the wrong direction. So that's something you have to solve. Now, luckily, we were able to solve this by removing this gear and putting it on this side so that you, uh, that you get everything turning the right way again. And this is the result, even much, much smaller. It's uh, absolutely ridiculous how small I managed to get this thing. And it's also kind of weird when you think about it. I worked on all of this for about a week, maybe. And this small, little, simple thing is the end result. But then again, I did intend to make some sort of optimizations, which result in making things smaller and much more simpler. So I shouldn't be that surprised that the end result is small and simple. But still, it looks uh, almost too simple, you would think. But it does work. And as you can see here, I actually made use of the gear inside the gear. But there is not a lot of movement room in this thing. It really... It really only fits this way and I cannot move any gear any other way anymore or it will not work. Or well, it'll work but uh, it will not be aligned anymore like it should. And this thing is absolutely very small. Let's measure again. So this should be the furthest point. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's just slap on a timber of 10 and see how far out it gets. So yeah, that's 10. So it doesn't even need to be 10. Let's say about nine, not even nine, an eight. Yeah, an eight would do. That would mean the uh, dial would be maybe about nine. So that's all you have. So <laughs> that's uh, very small. That also means that the room where this thing is in only needs to be about, about two high, maybe three to be safe. And that's about it. So. And also, the, the depth of this thing has changed a little bit, but not too drastically. There was not a lot of possibility to reduce that. There was one that I was thinking of, but it's unfortunately impossible. That is to move this gear over to this side. And then you have these pegs on this side of this gear. But it wouldn't work because then this gear here would be up against this one so at this point i don't see any way to improve this any further but then again the last time i did say that i was at a certain point that i did not know how to do it any better although i did know that there would have been certain ways to make it better i just didn't know how but at this point i'm actually i actually don't know if there is another way so yes but all this optimization and this is something you do have to take into account if you do this yourself with certain gear system is to do it step by step. And I also mentioned this while uh, in, the, in the Ballista episode. So if you change certain things, try and do it uh, piece by piece. Because if your next design doesn't work, at least you will know where to watch and where to try and find all your mistakes or why, it, why exactly it doesn't work. Because if I had gone straight from this to this and it didn't work, I wouldn't have known if it was because I moved the gears or if I used different gears or any sort of thing. So yeah, I just wanted to show all of this stuff. I think it's uh, quite interesting because uh, I honestly didn't expect to make something this small work <laughs> the same way as that whole thing there. So next up. I will need to fit this onto a working rotor, similar to that one. 
and try and arrange everything so that it fits into a tower. And the tower will most likely be about... Well, let's see. Uh, yes, I did measure this. So this is just under 30. So you would think that this would fit into three of these blocks. So uh, a room with three. But however, there still needs to be a tile here. And after this, there still needs to be another gear that is being turned by all of that stuff. So it'll stick out a little more. So that'll be it'll be four deep. And so I'm thinking to just make the tower four by four. That would be nicely symmetrical. And I would actually have some some extra room to perhaps put some stairs around so that you can walk up and watch everything. And most of those gears would be somewhere in the middle. I think that would work out nice. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this episode. And next time hopefully I can show you the earliest version of a clock tower. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and maybe found it a little bit helpful. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.